Welcome to Movement and Function. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite exercises to alleviate stiffness in the hips and pelvis. These exercises are great for you if you're feeling tight, a little sore throughout your hips and pelvic region. If you're having difficulty sitting and crossing your legs or bringing a leg up to put on your socks and shoes or standing or walking or doing any other activities where you notice a limitation in your hips and pelvis, then these exercises will be helpful for you. If you also have stiffness in your lumbar spine, that certainly can affect your hips and your pelvis. So check the description below for a link to my video addressing stiffness in the lumbar spine. That one could be very helpful for you also. This video specifically focuses on generalized stiffness throughout the hips and the pelvis. Now the first four exercises will do lying down and the last one will do standing up. The first exercise is single knee to chest. Start lying on your back in a comfortable position. Draw your belly button in toward your spine. And on an exhale, lift one knee up toward your chest and give it a hug. Hold for about five to 10 seconds, whatever feels comfortable for you, and then lower that leg. Good, on your next exhale, bring the other leg up. Hug it in toward your chest, fully exhale. Hold for five or 10 seconds, and then slowly lower back down. Continue alternating left and right side 20 times. The next one is bent knee fallout. Start with your knees bent, feet flat on the surface. Draw your belly button in toward your spine and slowly lower one knee out toward the side. Pause there, bring it back up to the starting position and lower the other leg. Pause and bring it back up to the starting position. Continue alternating left and right side 20 times. Next up is a combined piriformis and figure four stretch. Starting again with your knees bent, feet flat on the surface. Draw your belly button in toward your spine. Bend one leg up, crossing the ankle over the opposite thigh and gently press down on your leg, not on your knee, but just above your knee on your inner thigh. Hold for about 10 to 20 seconds or as long as it feels comfortable for you to hold the stretch and keep breathing. Now bring your arms to the outside of your knee and your leg and bring your knee up toward the opposite shoulder. So your right knee will come toward your left shoulder. And again, hold for about 10 to 20 seconds. This should change where you feel the stretch. In this position, you'll likely feel a deep stretch in the buttocks. Okay, and then go back to the first one. Press on the inner thigh for about 10 to 20 seconds and continue alternating between the figure four stretch this way and the piriformis stretch with your knee coming toward the opposite shoulder. Do that three times on the one leg and then switch legs. Bring your knee up, cross your leg, and gently press down on the inner thigh. Hold for 10 to 20 seconds and then bring your hands to the outer part of your knee, bring your knee up toward the opposite shoulder. Hold for 10 to 20 seconds and continue alternating, pressing down on the thigh and bringing the knee toward the opposite shoulder three times. Next up is a hip flexor stretch. First, bring your hips closer to the edge of the table or your bed or your couch, wherever you're performing this exercise. Keep your shoulders squarely on the table for good support. Now straighten the leg that is closest to the edge of the table and then slide it off the edge and let it hang. You should feel a nice stretch through the front of your hip. If you're feeling any pressure in your low back, it may be because you're allowing your low back to arch. So try and pull your belly button in toward your spine and tilt your, your pelvis backward so your back is flat against the table. That will help accentuate the stretch right in the front of the hip. Now, if you bend your knee, you'll likely feel the stretch pulled into the top of your quadricep. This is a nice, deep hip flexor and quadricep stretch. Pause in that position and then just let your leg hang again. All right, and then bring your leg back up. Now, a progression of this exercise is to first bring the knee up toward your chest of the leg that's farther away from the edge of the table and then slide my right leg off the table. This even further accentuates the stretch in the front of the right hip. Hold for a few seconds, whatever's comfortable for you, up to about 10 seconds, 
and then slide your leg back up onto the table and go back to the starting position. And then you'll slide over to the other side of the table. Now if you're performing this exercise on a surface where you only have access to one side of the table, then just go ahead and get up, turn yourself around so the other side is facing the edge, and perform the exercise again. Do the stretch three times on each side. Now the last exercise is a standing hip flexor stretch. So standing next to a countertop or something for support, step one foot forward and the other foot back. Make sure that your feet are wide and they're not in line so that you have a good base of support and you don't feel like you're standing on a tightrope. So if you need to, widen your feet apart a little bit so you feel good and solid. Start by tilting your pelvis back and drawing your belly button in toward your spine. Next, bend the knee on the forward leg and sink into a lunge position. You should feel a nice deep stretch through the front of the hip on the side where the leg is back. Hold this position for anywhere between 5 and 30 seconds, depending on what feels best for you. The more you're able to tilt your pelvis back, the more you will feel the stretch through the front of the hip. Now switch legs. Step the other leg forward and tilt your pelvis back and tuck your buttocks under. Bend the knee on the forward leg, so you're going into a lunge position. You should feel the stretch through the front of the hip of the leg that is stepped back. Hold the stretch for anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, depending on what feels most comfortable for you. Continue alternating left and right sides five times. I hope you find these five fantastic exercises helpful for you to feel more limber throughout your hips and your pelvis. If you like this exercise, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.